Hey, how do you doodly do? In the previous episode we arrived in Henningsvær in Lofoten with a 41-foot Lipari catamaran named Simi Smile. We start off this episode with a little stroll in the town before we continue sailing to Nusfjord. On our way I will be testing the arctic waters as I jump in and the captain will show us some amazing tricks. Thank you to my patrons for supporting the making of these videos. If you would like to help, you may join as Patron and have early ad-free access. Now let's get to it. Come along. Henningsvær is a very cozy little place in Lofoten with 486 permanent residents as of January 2020. Henningsvær has been an important fishing village in Lofoten for several hundred years and back in the 1950s there were about 1000 permanent residents here. One of the world's richest fishing areas are just south of Henningsvær. Right after World War II there could be up to 10,000 fishermen here during the cod season. Fishing is still an important source of income here, as well as tourism in summertime. Manfolk parkering. Yeah. <laughs> this is where guys are gonna sit when the women go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should we just sit? see you later? <laughs> okay. This is a luxury setup. All right, working okay. A friend of mine who uh, welded this this huge turn yeah. on the back here, so I can put the barbecue on top. Because that is not a marine barbecue. No. 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 It's a normal household barbecue. Yes. Yes. But it's no problem having it uh, on the boat. No. Oh. Great setup. In fact, I I used it. When sailing across uh, Loch Ness in, on the way, you know, just yeah. sailing, we had a uh, perfect wind, just doing three, four knots along uh, Loch Ness. That was here in barbecue. And we had uh, the uh, spinnock, the uh, wave rock curve now. Yeah. Up, up. Very stable, and just doing three, four knots, just barbecue, and guys were sitting in, in front. And nice. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Sounds very nice. I must say that uh, this is the second time I'm on this boat sailing with uh, Jan Selge and uh, it's not it's not good for me because <laughs> I now I want a catamaran again it's I'm good crazy for us. Now. It's good for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I love it it's a very nice boat I fly a starship across the universe divide and when I reach other side I'll find a place to rest my spirit if I can perhaps I may become a highwayman again or I may 
there simply to be a single drop of rain But I will remain Yes, maybe there's enough wind to do a little bit of sailing today, or there will be at least some motor sailing. But that would be cool. What do you say, Capo? Yeah, I changed my mind all the time, you know. Like the wind? Yep. Whenever there's a little breeze, I try to catch some of it in the sail, so use the engine a little bit less. And do what this boat is supposed to do. That's right. That's right. It's really cozy in here. You don't feel the breeze at all. You just sit here and relax and enjoy. Oh, yeah. That's what life is all about. Yeah? Yeah, it's been really comfortable to have this top on. Yeah. But it's really a different boat for what I get it on. It makes a big difference. Yeah. Last time I was uh, out sailing with Jan Selge, all this area was open. Mm. Uh, I liked it then too, but uh, of course, when it's a chilly wind. Mm. Even if the weather is very nice here in northern Norway now, it's not that warm, so in the wind it's cold. So this makes all the difference for a boat in, in colder climates. It does. And not every day is like this, huh? Not every day. <laughs>
Yes, Jens Helge is trying out the wind direction and everything to see what kind of sail we will be using. Mm -hmm. um, question is, should we use the main upset of sails or should we fly the wing acker? Hopefully we can use the wing acker for a little while. It's a lot of job putting it up? No, it's not all the ropes. Are they're already there, so it's only the back of the wing acker. Yeah. So. Now you must let me know what I can do to help. Yes, I want that. On my boat it's a pain in the ass getting the Genoa sail back in. So I've done all the mistakes that you can do here, but normally now it's Four, four lines at the bottom, so... Yeah. What a beautiful sail. You do this every day? Oh yes. Oh, you're losing your hat. <laughs> do it again, do it again. <laughs> it's a little bit slippery. It's a daily workout. Should be, so it's not. Yeah. <laughs> but this, sometimes I do this for my crew to make them happy. Yeah. <laughs> this time it didn't work because I'm on camera. taking shade from the sun and the wind not that there's much wind but it was just nice sitting here too you still have a full overview Norwegian commercial life is not the worst you can have and the coffee is ready
motor sailing, motor sailing, the cutter is not sufficient when, but it's not so bad, you can still have a good time, despite the missing wind. Det här alltså. Sunglasses off. Ready? <laughs> no, I'm not ready for this. I mean, this is gonna be cold. <laughs> What? You Viking! You Viking! You have the Viking! Yeah. That was cold. <laughs> Very impressive. Very impressive. Oh. 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 And that was more. Oh. Oh. I have my own private concert here. On the trampoline, I'll see me smile. Do I smile? <laughs> Perfect. Good to go. Such a cleaning, such a excellent cleaning staff on board, so we can clean up the boat tomorrow. <laughs> all the shit. Wow. We tied up in Nusfjord and spent the night here. It is an amazingly beautiful place with amazing scenery and old history. In the next episode we will show you around here and then continue to another breathtaking place in Lofoten named Reine. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss that. Thank you very much for watching, commenting and liking this video. Feel free to share it around. A special thank you to my patrons and supporters, especially my gold supporter Harvey Engvort. See you next time. Bye bye.